Well, this is officially the cleanest we've ever made a room. Well done, everyone. So thanks to my pookie woo here. No, it's because of this cuddle pug. He's the best cleaner wiener. Well, whoever the best cleaner wiener is, this place was disgusting. Rubbish, stains, tape. I'm just looking at it now. Oh, treat this as a learning experience. Think of three things to repeat tomorrow. Hello, the cleanest. So our instrument is clean. This is Detective Inspector Berkeley. Oh, hi, Detective Inspector. We've just finished your job. You could eat off the floor. As long as we can access the crime scene, I think that'll be fine. Access the... The crime scene, right. You guys have done us a huge favour by clearing away all the rubbish outside the yellow tape. Outside the... Ah! What's that? Ah, yeah, I'm so happy. Ah, yeah, I'm so very happy. Okay, then. I'll see you in 30. 30 minutes, bye. Everything okay? Which one of you was the best cleaner wiener? Because you fired. it! Okay, if we destroyed a crime scene, we can rebuild it. Why would it follow that we can rebuild it? Because if we don't rebuild it, Greg, we're all going to prison for interfering with a police investigation. And you'll be the one sharing a cell with a real life Wolf Creek man, not us. What about Philip? I'll be in solitary for gaining a warden's trust and using that trust to bite his face off. This is everything I could get from the skip. Good work, crumbly pants. Oh, crumb bum. Give me strength. What am I supposed to do with this? Where are the blood stains? Where's the mass of unidentified fluids? They got cleaned away. Still got the police tape. Give me that. It stays like this, I hate being the boss. You're not the boss. Whatever. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Libby, go and get me everything out of the fridge. Philip, go outside and cut open a tree fruit sap. I'll miss you, kissy pickle. Miss you more, doodle dog. Christ alive. Ah, uh, Greg, I need you to put your fingerprints on this gun. What? what? No. What, well, someone's fingerprints? If anyone's fingerprints are found on that gun, they go to jail for murder. <sighs> well, then go outside and rub it in some dirt. Anything to make it less shiny. <sighs> Damn police tape. Tangles the minute you look away from it. Okay, and a little more over there. Uh, and that's it. Okay, perfect. That's exactly how it looked this morning. This is officially the stupidest thing I've ever been involved in. Thanks, Nibbly Giblet. Well, welcome, Pinky Dimple. Guys, come on! This is serious! The police! Hello. Go ahead, Detective. Thanks for your hard work today. Our pleasure! Don't say our pleasure to the man as if, as if we did anything. Seriously, I'm still shivering at the thought of all the work we didn't do, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's normal. Uh, bitch. I'm getting some very strange readings over here. What's up, Vicky? The blood appears to be tree sap. And I'm also getting readings of milk and diet Sprite. That is strange. I think I know what's happened here. I think the victim was a tree man. A tree man? I didn't think it was physiologically possible. The crime scene doesn't lie. Looks like he's died after imbibing lethal substances. A milk and diet Sprite lethal? To a tree man? The most lethal thing there is. Let's get the paperwork done. This isn't a murder after all. Looks like this gun here is just a red herring. That makes sense. It's jabbed up with dirt, it couldn't hurt anyone. You know, Vicky, sometimes the most confusing days are the most rewarding. Others are the least rewarding. Let's talk about how we rate this one on the drive back to the lab. Case closed! <sighs> oh my god. We just let a murderer off the hook. Oh, the murderer might do us a good turn someday. Think of it as karma. So you two aren't gonna call each other some lovey-dovey name to wrap this whole thing up? Nope. Just standing here. 